This is Twit. This malware discovered um, last week by a, a tech, uh, you know, security company, uh, Red Canary. Uh, they called it, by the way, Silver Sparrow. So maybe they have a thing about birds. I don't know. But Red Canary discovered that there was a strange malware. First of all, we we love it that it's one of the one of the programs optimized for the M1. So yeah. so there's. <laughs> On the bright so side, that was a hilarious part to me. There was so much terrible reporting because, like, they were they, one of the big newspapers, uh, trade papers, actually said, "I'm going to go throw my or something like I'm going to throw my M1 in the trash now." What's even the point? Like, Apple spent what? WWDC and the November what? event telling you how easy it was to port code from uh, Intel yes. to to yeah. to uh, M1, and that's all anybody can do is just code. And uh, uh, they they don't Red Sparrow doesn't say whether it's a, a fat binary, but I would guess it's universal, <laughs> right? I don't know. <laughs> they use the dev tools. They, okay. Oh, they use Xcode. Uh, it's odd because it doesn't uh, do anything. It has been found, according to uh, Red Sparrow, on thirty thousand Macs worldwide. How is that? Is that because uh, Red Sparrow must they must be offering some sort of antivirus or something. They're working with a uh, malware bite. So uh, malware, malware bites, bites gave them okay. that data that at least, so that's, that's the only confirmed sighting. So there could be way more than that. Yeah. 20. Yes. Yeah, so that would, it would have to be Mac users who put malware bites on their system. And then uh, the malware bites discovered 29,139 Mac OS endpoints across 153 countries, uh, mostly U S UK, Canada, France, and Germany. But what's weird, it has no malicious payload. It doesn't do anything. It just uh, it installs itself. It does set up a command and control server. One of the commands, apparently, that it's capable of is erase yourself now. So <laughs> there's, there's some speculation. Maybe it's just a proof of concept. Yeah. Well, I didn't have it. I, I checked right away, and I did. It was not on my system, yeah. so I don't know how it was spreading. So far, research. I'm quoting uh, Ars Technica. So far, researchers haven't seen either binary do much of anything, prompting the researchers to refer to them as bystander binaries. The x86 code. <laughs> the crowd. They're, they're like, we're going to do something really bad, but we want a lot of computers uh, to watch. They are cheer. loitering. Yeah. They, they want to stand back yeah, and them all cheer. stand by. Uh, yeah. When run, uh, when executed, the x8664 binary displays the words, words "Hello World," while the M1 binary says, "You did it." <laughs> it's just a test, Leo. They got it. Everyone's got to run tests. Everyone's so got a beta. Apple has responded by revoking the developer certificate for both files, which means you'd have to go through hoops. You could install the it system, still, right? But you could, as intended. Yeah. Yeah. The system working as X, I think X protect uh, is looking for it. And also they revoked the certificate, which is exactly what's supposed to happen, uh, which is why I found the reporting so amusing. <laughs> like it's, it's a curiosity. It deserves some attention, deserves information, but the reporting was so curious. It, uh, according to Red Canary, resembles previously seen Mac OS adware. So ported. It's, it's literally ported. It's, it's ported over. Uh, and since there is a command and control server, it could be, uh, you know, you could have it sitting on your system and then it could be activated. Patrick Wardle says the most notable thing was that it was found on almost 30,000 Mac endpoints. And these are only the endpoints malware bytes could see. So the number is probably way higher. That's pretty That's widespread. I'm curious about how. Say, yeah. say again, no, uh, Renee. I just how it got there. I don't want to cut Andy off, but just how it got on so many machines is curious right. to me. No, I was, I was I was going to say the same thing. Of the uh, if this this story broke on uh, the the blog post hit on Friday, most of the so it gave everybody basically a weekend to start scrambling about this, and we just don't we still don't know much more than what was in the original blog post. So we don't know what the purpose was. We don't know what the vector of uh, of uh, transmission was. Uh, it looks it does look like your classic. Let's create this botnet or let's let's create this network of infected machines that they we could then essentially rent as a as a cloud computing sort of core uh, for whatever malicious things that people want to do but the thing it, 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 but the thing is that usually when these things are created they're created stealthily enough that they're not detected before they actually do anything uh, to say nothing of the fact of why are they so interested in uh, in Max to begin with for this sort of thing we were, it's it's always smart to remind ourselves that uh, Macs are absolutely not uh, virus proof. They're not malware proof. However, 
given that most of the people that are writing this stuff, they're writing it for profit so that they can create, again, a network so they can do things an anonymously or create this amazing laser cannon weapon to to, to attack uh, the website or the service of someone's choice. It it just seems weird that they would choose to to, to, to rope uh, Max in on there. Although I will say that this is a testimony. Apple has reason to be proud. This is how easy it is to uh, create code for the M1 processor. It's yep. exactly that simple. Uh, but, oh well. There is a clue here, uh, Dan Gooden writing in Ars Technica. Once installed, Silver Sparrow searches for the URL that the installer package was downloaded from. He says, most likely so the malware operators will know which distribution channels are most successful. Uh, the URL check, though, suggests that malicious, malicious search results may be at least one distribution channel. So you do a search for an app, uh, and then uh, the installer poses as that app. This is one of the reasons I don't recommend malware bytes because the real malware bytes works, but people type in malware bytes, and the search yeah. results may well include a, a, a rogue malware bytes that is the that is the malware. So it's the exact <laughs> opposite of the intended function. Uh, an Apple spokesperson provided a comment on the condition they not be named and the comment not be quoted. So that's all I can say. No, there's <laughs> the statement said that after finding the malware, Apple revoked the developer's certificate. Uh, Apple loaded. There's no evidence of a malicious payload being delivered. Uh, Really, uh, the most impressive thing about it is that it's bin uh, it's a it's there's two binaries, one for x86 and one for the M1. That's not even impressive. It's like checkbox. At it's this easy. Point. Like it's easy. You yeah. can do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, so it's. Pr I would guess you're right, Andy. That it, that there is a payload. It just they didn't get around to uh, t to doing it. What? How did you, um, Renee? How did you re just look for it and remove it? Did you use a tool to do that? I didn't remove it. Like I, I just look. So what I do is every once in a while I'll download malware bytes and I'll just run it like once or twice, like once a, every month or every two or three months because I don't like leaving it on the system because it uses far too many backward uh, background resources exactly. for my liking. Yeah. Uh, and I and I use good behavior tech. So I, I just do it as, or to, just to see. Like in this case, I I didn't really need to run it, but I wanted to see if it detected anything. So right. I downloaded it. Said there was nothing there. So then I promptly removed it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best uh, best thing to do. Um, there are also online scanners. I don't know how well they work, though. You know, um, and all Apple stuff is all Apple. -y. It's all secret in a black box. Like I don't right. know what XProtect is protecting me from, or discovering, or blocking, and I don't know what gatekeeper. Like, like I just, I just don't have that feedback. It, so if I want to know something, I have to find. It. Is it safe to assume that because of the uh, uh, steps Apple's taken, that we don't have to? Even if you had it, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Or no, you should still try to detect it and remove it. It shouldn't be able to execute because the okay. both this and the other one, the developer certificates were revoked, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be shouldn't, runnable. It shouldn't system. even run. Okay. Yeah. But if you already got it, it could it couldn't run on boot, right? For that reason. No. Yeah. It couldn't. Okay. It, it couldn't. It could no longer run because it's no longer signed. Okay. But if you want, to, out of an abundance of caution, you can always download yeah. something, run it, and then remove that right. thing. Right. Yeah, the, I mean, the rules about malware is that you never know if they've come up with something incredibly clever that will do an end run or anything else. So yeah, it, it, I, I'm, I'm absolutely with Renee. Uh, I don't, I, I don't uh, run malware bytes as often as he does, but it is one of those things where once I hear about something, I will install it, <laughs> check out my system, and then remove it again. Uh, it's not a bad piece of software. It's just that, like Renee said, a lot of background processes that I would much rather not have to deal with. And to be safe, make sure you get it from malwarebytes.com. Exactly. And yes. that's M-A-L-W-A-R-E-B-Y-T-E-S. <laughs> it's important you spell it right because some of yeah. the rogue malicious versions probably spell it differently. Well, and I think it's a, it's always a good time to talk about no matter whether you're on a Mac or a PC to you just have to be really careful about what you're you know what you're clicking on. You know, there's just a lot that's going out. One of the things that that I'm probably more problematic about related to my kids in school and we'll get stuff from the school or teachers that just CC you know all the parents you know that are there rather than oh BCC god. Them. Uh, I and mean, they, they don't you know, blame I, teachers because honestly, they've been thrown into this. No one's taught them no, 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 no. how to do this. We had there was an, a, a, a very important. Uh, Michael's a senior in high school, so it was a very important counseling set, uh, thing for the kids. And three different invites were s from th three different Zoom meetings were sent out. And right. and uh, so Lisa and Michael joined, oh, obviously joined the wrong one. <laughs> so they were sitting there for an hour. Nothing happened. Uh, and then well, they, and, they and, sent and out, and they said, oh, God, we're sorry. We sent out three invites. So they said, here's the new invite, but they had the wrong date. So 
<laughs> I, and I don't blame them. They're not trained to do this. That happened with my car. No, no. And, and this has been for years, though. I mean, it's not been COVID uh, that we get these from different teachers. And, 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 I, and I know that they don't know what that situation is, but I'm... Uh, but I'm that parent who always goes yeah, back. You should. Please don't do that. Yeah. Don't, don't you know, like, and, and not, I'm not oh. angry. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, by the way, you really need, you know, those emails, you're just, you know, that's like, and it's, it's been actually easier to talk to teachers about it now because I just related to a virus. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you're just, when you send it out to everyone, it's like, you know, yeah. uh, Te you know, giving teach everybody them to a hug use while BCC. you're sick. You yeah, teach yeah, yeah. a man to use BCC and he can fish for yep. a life. I've, I just no, found out say. that people don't know you don't have to reply all on Twitter. Like you, we all get all these things where they're responding to yeah. 30 people. It's nothing to do with us. And it's like one word. And I put up a short note saying you can actually click one box and it won't be see, it won't copy everybody. And most people right. didn't know that. And I feel like it's a service to Twitter if they make that more apparent. I, yeah, I, I, I am so all. hesitant to say anything bad about teachers because God, this has been a tough year for them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and um, we're very, yeah, no, grateful. it's not, it, it's it's mostly like I just always feel Education. like I'm that parent. Yeah. When I'm that parent, I'm always like I don't want to sound make it sound like I'm complaining. I know that things are hard. I just <laughs> right. I Educate. just but I do do want you to not do that again. Yeah. <laughs> so, Educate. So, yeah. Or yeah. oh God, this meeting is public. Please, <laughs> this meeting is public. Oh God. <laughs>